day one of the High Chaparral tour and I've got to tell you how much have I missed being on the road with orange and black. Hey look, you come to places like this. Now we've just got to Sedona or just outside and Sedona's famous for these beautiful red rocks. Most especially though, getting here on the road. It may be slightly, would you believe, raining in Arizona today, but it's clearing up tomorrow. We've got a great bunch of people, look over here. Look, there they all are, right? We've all got the bikes that we wanted. I chopped mine in actually, my street glide for a fat bob or something it's called. Anyway, I just thought I had to have it. But that's wonderful, I changed the bike 10 minutes before we went. And I did that, and I can do that with orange and black. Look at all the people having a great time. Hey, look, day one, we're on the road riding the American dream with Bear. How good can it possibly get? Well, a little bit of sunshine, perhaps. Day two of the tour, and even though it's day two, probably one of the finest days in the saddle for me. I think probably I've ever had. Firstly, the unbelievable road out of Sedona, through the valley with the trees, the red rocks, everything was perfection up to Flagstaff then from Flagstaff on heading to Page dead straight roads riding the American dream in the most stiflingly glorious heat it was like riding in an oven but before Page and Journey's End tonight will you check out where we are now now this is Lake Powell and a little tour that's going on here organised by Bear I have to tell you this is one crazy boat journey. You're kind of going through this canyon with this water that's how deep is it? Very deep. Yeah, the deepest spot 450 feet. 450 feet man, that's well deep. If you dive, I promise you won't hit your head. <laughs> anyway, look, coming up to end of day two, my magic hour is upon us. I have to tell you, man, you need to come with orange and black on the high chaparral tour for me day two probably one of the best days in the sound of my life a day three on the high chaparral tour and i have to tell you it just gets better and better this morning we left page and rode through the vermilion cliffs i think they're called the most exquisite riding i have to tell you perfect temperature perfect road surface and the bends just keep coming we're here now in the Zion National Park and I have to tell you I've ridden I don't know probably about 17 rides in America in the deserts and around Arizona, Utah, Colorado where we're going but I've never been here this place is quite incredible just look at the size of it you feel so small and humble within it and you're riding a bike with kindred spirits all of you sharing that experience hey this is riding the american dream day four on the high chaparral tour now bear tells me every day it's going to get better how can it get better than this now so far today we've been through bryce national park we started off at zion national park escalante's grand staircase was another fantastic vista and now we're at the Escalante's mountain range. Take a look at this man with orange and black. Every day you're on top of the world. A day six in the saddle on the High Chaparral tour and we're here in Moab and this is the Arches National Park. Take a look at this Navajo red sandstone. The mountains here are breathtaking quite unbelievable to actually be a part of them briefly and it's september okay and i'm boiling hot so don't worry if you think you're going to get a little bit cold on this trip uh, you won't now moab is actually the capital of off-roading and i have to tell you you can see why Day seven on the High Chaparral tour and I've got to tell you, will you look at those views? Now we started off in Moab and we've just ridden the million dollar highway into Colorado. What an amazing road! Now interestingly, we've gone from the hot desert of Moab into this kind of mountain ride. And it's kind of like riding through the Alps on acid, basically. And we've arrived in Silverton, a really cool one-horse.
Horse Town, and now just out of Silverton on our way to Durango, will you please take a look at the views? I'm truly riding the American dream with all this lot, hey? And what fun it is, isn't it, troops? Oh, yes! Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'll tell you what, come join us. Day eight on tour and the ride of our lives. Have a look at this vista here. This is probably one of the finest vistas I've ever seen. Now we've come out of Durango and we're heading in a little while to a little town called Luff for the night. But this road down here, this gravel road, which runs for about two miles, we're going to traverse in a minute. That's called the Moki Dugway. And this is the Valley of the Gods. Will you take a look at it? Honestly, this is a once in a lifetime experience. And you only get it with orange wine of the tour. And I have to say, it just gets better. Today is an ambition fulfilled. And that was riding through Monument Valley. What an incredible place. And here we are at the Canyon des Chais, which is our next stop, which is a vast hole in the ground. I don't quite know how it was made, probably by a stream over millions and millions of years. But what it does today is give you yet another incredible vista. Well, after this, we've got about 140 miles to Journey's End in Holbrook. But blimey, this trip just keeps on giving.